Steven and I are at Shockley's today. I was trying to think what I can do a little bit different to make this video interesting, and I'm gonna be fishing big baits today. So, I got some swim baits my buddy Ty gave me, and then I have, have I randomly had some gigantic worms like this, and then I had a sub make me some giant Senkos. This is the place to do it. Steven's gonna crush numbers. He's gonna catch about 100. We are hoping. We're gonna get out here and try to make something happen today. Let's go. All right, guys, we're doing the big bait challenge today. I'm also gonna throw some smaller baits too, which somebody sent me, but starting off with a rat. This is hand painted by William Rossi. Let's see if we can catch one. Right, so here's the first big bait that I was throwing. This is a Spro Rat knockoff. So this is a 10 inch, sorry, 10 inch total uh, mouse or rat bait. This thing has a really nice clacking noise. I would just reel it really slow back to the boat. Just give it really small little pops. And then you can also just straight crank it and it's gonna be like a wakened crank. I've done it down about six inches, so pretty sweet little bait thing. All right, rat. Throw the big Senko around. This thing is pretty big. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, got him? I did. On the big one? Yeah. Got him. Nice. <laughs> what was that on a little worm? Nice. All right, big bass time, big bass time. So when I started throwing this Matt Lures hard bass, I actually had no idea as to what it was. Um, so I just kept calling it the big bass swim bait. It is three and a half ounces and it is a floating swim bait so basically I was just casting it out reeling it back to the boat really slow giving it small twitches and pops if you give it a real hard jerk it would not do a 180 it would just kind of flap on its side it looked really cool it was different and I don't throw a lot of big swim baits and to me this is these are big swim baits to me again that's something else I wanted to reiterate on all right guys I'm gonna try out the fish and full lures as well today Says it sinks better than a Senko. We're gonna find out. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it just looks like a fluke. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, there should be a fish up here soon. Say within the next 10 casts, I'll get one on this fishing pool. There's a fishy. Got one? Oh, hey, uh, popped out. Oh. Oh. Again. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Woo! Fishing full lures. There we go. I saw a two pounder. It was a good fight. I just wacky rigged that fishing full. Oh, is that what you did? Just wacky rigged it? Wacky rigged it, yeah. First fish of the day. See you. That was the five inch baby bass fishing full lure. I'm going to switch it up to the bigger. Uh, I think they have a six inch. Throw that one around, see if I can catch a fish on it, and then move on to the big baits again. All right, so this is the six inch, and this color is rainbow trout. Actually, let me see if I got another color, because I don't really want to throw that. Got him? Yeah. Might be one right there, dude. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit better. He's probably two and a half. Open, open, open. Come here. Ah, there we go. Look at this. Could be from us. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, he, oh, he just pooped out a Senko. Is that really a Senko? No, dude, it's a crayfish? it's a crayfish claw. Oh yeah. I thought this was a Senko. This fish just pooped out a crayfish claw. It's crazy. You know what that means? Jigs all day. Jigs all day. Look. There you go. Pretty fish. Oh yeah, that's a good looking one. It's another two and a half. Nice catch. Yeah, thanks. Alright, that's cool. So 
Check out these fishing full lures, they're pretty neat. They work pretty good. Nice little alternative to a Senko. Or even a fluke. Or even a fluke, yeah, you're right. But now I'm gonna go back to some big baits, mess around with this for a little bit. I'm gonna throw this big, big, big Senko. I think this is like seven inches. It's just huge, it's girthy, it's the big bait. Yeah, it's great color. It's really similar to that bigger uh, fishing fool I was throwing. throwing. David Water Warrior Fishing, shout out for this sharp hooks and sick bait. Money paint job. I'm gonna get you one here in a minute. Let's get him. Shazam. There he is. Got him? Yeah. Nice. There we go. Nice little fish. Choked it. Or would have choked it. <laughs> nice. There you go. Water Warrior crankbaits. There you go. Crankbait? Yep. David. Oh, David. Good one? Yeah. Little guy. It's a fish. It catches. It even catches him on the head. Number two. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah. Here we go on the big Senko. Whoa. Whoa. One and a half pounder on that seven inch giant Senko. Come here, buddy. Okay, see you later. Nice. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, yeah. Decent. All right. Yeah. He was. He hit it off the dock. All right, another fish on that giant Senko. Very next cast, about two pounds. I'm gonna switch to another bait now. <laughs> All right, I just threw on the Gantrell. This is a really cool swim bait. Um, this is the Gizzard Shad color. This is six and a half inches. And this bait weighs two and a half ounces. It has a lot of uh, versatility so you can add a little trailer hook to the back here if you want to do that and you can also add weight right here under the chin of the bait which allows you to fish it more vertical it gives it a vertical presentation I didn't do that I just fished it straight like a swim bait this is also another floating swim bait it actually um, dives down about three feet because of the pectoral fins here kind of acts like a crankbait brings it down also reeling this with a really slow retrieve and then giving it full pops and like little jerks here and there. With this one, if you gave it a really hard rip, it would make a full 180 and face backwards. And I oh. think that's pretty cool in a swim bait. Just had one peck at it, yeah. There he is. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Swim bait awesome. fish. Oh my God, dude. Look at how big this bait is compared to the fish. He hungies. He was like, that was so cool. He was eating at it a I bunch. He, I was about to say, I bet he, that was the one just following. He hit it once. That was so cool. Awesome. It's my first like swim bait fish. If you consider this a swim bait, you'd consider this a swim bait, right? Yeah, hell yeah. That that's awesome. Hell yeah. Just goes to show that you know anything will bite, yeah. anything will bite a bait if they're hungry. Yeah. He was pecking at it for so long too. He's just like, I was like, oh, I got a bump. Remember? Yeah. And then he just ate it right at the boat. Got him? Yeah. It's crazy. I saw the weight. I'm like, I know you're there. Yeah. Black blue. Nope. You don't want to jump down here. You don't want to go down there. This is the jig, swim jig? Yeah. So you've caught fish on a popper, jig, popper, Senko. Jig, Senko. Crankbait. All right, I'm going to put the gantrell down and try to catch one on that bass. Let's go. Got him? Nice. It's another solid two and a half pounder though. All day. That's all like day. the average Shockley fish. Jigs all day. Jigs all day. That's a good one. There you go. Black and blue. Okay, actually that reminds me. I'm gonna I'm gonna try out that giant man's jelly worm. Yeah. I'm gonna put the big bass down for a little bit. Rig this up. So this is a 12 inch jelly worm by Man's. Look how big this thing is. Did you put a weight on it? Yeah, right. half ounce. Fishing her big time. I have a feeling something will bite this though. It looks pretty good. Oh, it's crazy. Look at this little fish. So, just caught my first fish on like the third cast on that 12 inch jelly worm. It's crazy. Look, the, the worm is almost as long as the fish itself. It's nuts. So cool though. He was 
just chomping on it too. There you go. Hey, he's right on the bank. There's a bite. Yeah, what? <laughs> 12 inch worm catching average size fish. Not bad. That's crazy that these fish are hitting this worm. This worm is as long as this fish. I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Look at that. I think this wind is playing a big role as to where these fish are. That's something you guys should keep an eye on too when you're fishing smaller bodies of water. Really any body of water. Which way or which banks are being hit by wind. There's just a ton of fish stacked up down here. You can see it's, the wind's just blowing straight down into this bank. <laughs> which is also the dam, so it's a little bit deeper. So a lot of room for these fish to be, yeah, just everywhere. Yep. There we go. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, this is insane. There we go. It's my third fish on this 12 inch worm. Look at that reddish. There's a bite. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. The catching's a little bit better quality fish than there. Yeah, a little bit. No dinks. No five, but they're here. Yeah, I know. That's I wanna continue to throw this thing. It's awesome. Giant worm. And we are catching some fish today, guys. So I think I've caught, what have I caught? Three or four, four fish on this 12 inch worm. I caught one on the Gantrell. I caught one on the Senko and I caught two on the Sink and Fool. So that's eight, you've caught at least 12. So we've got at least 20 fish in the boat. We've been out for about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20, hour and a half. Bite, got it. Yep. Ah. God, this is so cool. Twelve inch worms catch fish. So initially, I was really worried about the hookup ratio on this thing because okay. the hook is so small. Stephen gave me his biggest straight shank hook that he had, or offset. But you can see how big, or how much space there is between the bend of that hook and the tail. I mean, really, it's only the first four inches of the bait, and I haven't missed a single fish. I have not missed a single fish. <laughs> Doubled up. All right, here we go. Fish on the rat. Yeah. Come here, rat fish. See ya. Yeah, that was awesome. As soon I just saw that little bit of a shade back there. I was like, the end. It was calmer. I was like, man, that looks perfect for the rat. He smoked it. That was awesome. Jesus. <laughs> what happened? Uh, oh, I got the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing broke. I can't believe it. That was ridiculous. He doesn't even know what happened. Yeah, right. He just kind of looked like he was sitting there. There we go. Two pound shockless fish. There we go with the dub. Don't mind. See you. All right, that's it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a really fun session out here on Shockley's today, throwing these big baits around. Steven, thanks for having me out. Anytime, man. Anytime. We He's the man. Thanks to David for Water Warrior fishing for that crankbait that Steven was catching some fish on. Yeah, I forgot about that. David, it will be well used on the river. For sure. So check that out too. I'll leave that in the link in the description below, guys. Have a good day. We'll see you soon.